If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JC2K video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing episode three of Comp Diaries, the series where I go over a competitive game that I play and talk about my mindset and what led to me either winning or losing that game. And this is game three of a competitive tournament, round one of the Dream League playoffs that I played against I'm Not TMAC. In this tournament, I was the four seed. I think TMAC was the. Uh, I'm not honestly sure. I think he may have been the 13 seed, but those seedings were not indicative of how good uh, T Mac is. T Mac is one of the best players on Xbox. I will leave his Twitch link down in the description as well. He does stream sometimes over on Twitch, so go make sure y'all drop him a follow and show him some love. But he's a really, really good player, and this is a great game. So I just wanted to go over this game and tell y'all, basically explain how this game goes because this one came down pretty much to the wire and was in a, was a deciding game three of a series because obviously the series is best of three. So. But yeah, let's hop right into it. Take a look at this game. Also, if you'll have it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you haven't already. If you do hit that subscribe button, obviously, um, but you obviously don't have to. So first possession of the game, I'm just getting into my offense. I weird possession. I don't even know what the, what that was, uh, but I do wind up getting an offensive rebound, knocking down a white to start the game, which is always a great start. Um, he misses a shot, shoots a lightly. Not a good shot. He breaks my ankle, gets another wide open look with AK, and he doesn't hit his white right back, which is unfortunate for him. So immediately, Algos favor me a little bit in terms of me getting an offensive rebound and hitting a white. But same thing here. I get a wide open look. Really nice move by me there. Get that misdirection, but I hit another white. So that's a phenomenal start to this game. Um, up six to zero. But y'all will see this game does swing quickly, and I think it swings right here, actually. I bring... Anton Jameson, y'all look to see me click on Anton Jameson, run for it. I should have gotten the steal, and I don't. 2K hose me out of the steal. He gets a wide open mid-range, knocks it down. And that's a huge momentum swing there. Because if I get that steal, I have a free wide open showtime on the other end. I'm up 8 to 0, and my team would probably be getting closer to team takeover. Whereas now he's it's only a four-point game and I don't have a fast break. So that's a big swing there. I try to go downhill with Anton. I make a good pass. I mean, it was wide open in the corner. KP was, and I just didn't green. That's my fault. Don't knock down another white, which obviously is fine, but he gets the ball right back. Has a good, nice spacing. Obviously, y'all can see he gets to his five out immediately, which makes it hard to get a stop. Nice pass by him as well. He goes baseline, gets a showtime. That's an awesome pass by him because if he throws that um, to the wing, I'm probably going to steal it. Y'all will see me click on both with Bo Russell here, and I'm rotating up toward the wing. If he throws that to LeBron, I'm probably getting that steal, but he throws a perfect pass to Bill and gets a wide open showtime time out of it this possession i have as y'all can see again spacing is perfect i have the spacing five out but he plays really nice defense uh, i just can't get my burst off cleanly very well but i do make a really nice move there nice hop step around the defense and get a dunk off so that's a good way to make a bucket out of a not pre a not pretty possession if you know what i mean so and same thing here y'all see every possession he sets up his spacing that's one of the things t-mac does really well is making sure to set up his spacing well and Get a good look at the basket. That's a contact dunk there, but you're going to get those in this game. I can't really complain too much because that's just how 2K is. And then he sends a double with AD. I pass it out to KP. And as you can see, my spacing is still really, really nice. But I, he gets a bump. I mean, there's just nothing I can do about that. That happens. You get plucked. He gets a good open look. Grands it with Bo Russell. Nice shot by him, and he's up by one. And then I turn the ball over. Can't be turning the ball over. That's my mistake. Passing the ball too much. It does happen. Um, that being said... I'm not even sure what happens this possession. Great blitz by me with Anton, to be completely honest. Almost could have had a bump there, but it was a risky play, and I didn't wind up getting the bump, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Throw it ahead to Anton immediately, and I get sucked into a jump ball animation, which is just really unfortunate. Couldn't, didn't have time to pass out of that jump ball. Ah, I don't know. It's unfortunate. And anyways, he wins the jump ball, so he gets basically a stop there. Good defensive play again by me, potentially getting a steal, and instead, I'm just a tiny bit late. Honestly, it would have been a good defensive play if I'd been a little bit earlier, and all of a sudden, he's up by five. So a 6-0 lead has quickly swung to a 13 to eight deficit he's outscored me 13 to 2 so really nice job by him i get a wide open look with Kawhi. another wide open shot and i shoot another white i've shot four whites to start this game from three and i've made two of them thankfully but that's just unfortunate not a good take by him he forced their spacing wasn't very good and i get a block off and then i go up with ben draw foul we will take that i knock down two free throws and it's a 13 to 10 game so 
He's immediately, as you can see, every possession, getting into his spacing, being patient on offense. Gets a good look at the rim again with LeBron. Um, he really would have had a dunk there if he had wanted it, but instead he takes the layup with Kawhi. It's still a good good play. As soon as you get that layup animation, more often than you're not, you're either going to get a contact or a nice layup animation or even a foul. Um, it's very un uncommon to not, and then I just turned the ball over. That's completely my fault. I basically behind the back into his bump, which was just a complete mistake by me, and now I'm down seven. Just not a good not playing the way that I should be playing right now. Great pass though, and I go up and it shouldn't have gone up. I take the offensive rebound, which will take it, but like I should not have gotten up there. That's a good pass, but I should have been more patient and reset my offense. Trying to get my spacing proper with my pick and fade. He fouls. Would have been a smart foul except for the fact that he had already fouled within the last two minutes. So I get another two free throws. And um, it's a 17 to 12 game at this point. And I don't remember exactly what that should have been a steal. That's great defense I mean, with Anton James. I don't get the steal, which is unfortunate, but we're just trying to get right back to it. Keep our head in the game. Good defense this whole possession so far. I've done a really nice job. And he basically, I don't think, yeah, this is great defense. This possession was really, really good. Great defense possession. We get the stop. Get it to KP. 13 seconds left or 12 seconds left in this quarter. I should take the last shot here. I don't actually remember if I do. Uh, but I should wait till like there's a couple seconds left. And I do a great job of doing that. And I miss the dunk, which is just unfortunate. You get a contact dunk animation and miss it. You're going to make those like 95% of the time. So there's not a ton I can do about that. And uh, yeah, we go into the second quarter down by five. Not the best quarter by me. I just didn't green my open shots, which is one of the huge things that kept me from potentially having a lead going into the second quarter. And then also a couple of steal animations did not go my way, which does happen. You kind of have to learn to live with that. And then... I mean, it is what it is. Again, could have had a steal there with KP. I didn't get the steal. Some things aren't going to go your way, and that's okay. Could have had a bump there with Kawhi as well. Again, some things aren't going to go your way. You just kind of have to live with it. I recover and still get a bump steal in that possession. Really nice defense overall by me, but I turn it right back over because I'm not patient. And that's another thing. I want to go back over this possession. Look, great defense with KP. I bring him down to get a bump steal there. That's a great strategy to use. But look, if I'm just patient and call my five out, pass and screen away here, I have a chance to get a bucket. But instead, I try to force it ahead for a fast break bucket, and I wind up turning the ball over which is just a stupid mistake to make and it turns into a dunk on the other end so instead of me having a chance to cut the lead to three or two i immediately turn it over by trying to force a fast break i like those passes those throw aheads but only when they're low risk that pass was not low risk at all so immediately what do i do oh i get traveled this is not i, I got this is unfortunate here i released a video on how to break double teams a couple days ago and it typically works but occasionally give you this animation it's very rare but it will where i'm spamming the pump fake pass fake and he takes a step forward and travels and i am just frustrated at this point because i've gotten hoed a couple times uh made a couple poor decisions and i'm down by seven plus he's about to have the ball off the jump ball because he wins the jump ball and then he gets a blow by with ad kicks it out to lebron wide open for three and he misses thankfully which is big um, but yeah, I'm just annoyed at this point. So I'm trying to reset, reset myself. Cause I mean, this is a big game three. I want to win it obviously. So that's a good pass. I don't know. That's just unfortunate bailout animation. I'm just frustrated at this point. Cause I get hoed again and he gets a showtime dunk and it's a 21 point and then he gets the ball back and I was pissed. At this point in the game, right now, I was pissed. But mentally, I had to tell myself, you have to stay composed. Because even when you're getting hoed, you have to stay composed. Because that's the only way you're going to have a chance to come back in this game. If I lose my cool and completely get flustered, I'm going to lose this game. So I literally just sit here in this timeout and like take some deep breaths and calm down and relax. And then get back to trying to re reset my mental so that I can hopefully reassess and just continue to play smart. Because at some point, the algorithm will likely swing back my way. So he throws the ball right to me, and I just get hoed again. Like, Kawhi should have had that steal there. So there was a lot of me getting screwed to start this game, as well as poor decision-making by me as well. And it's a combination of multiple things. He gets an open look with Kawhi. He would have had a better shot, honestly, if he just shot off the delay of peak. But I wound up, he misses, winds up missing, which is huge. I get the rebound. Throw it to a wide-open bend. Great peak. Nice bailout pass as well. And I wind up, whoa, how did I screw that up? Wide open look for KP for Anton as well. I just I had a wide open showtime and I screwed it up by accidentally hop stepping. Go baseline, take the dunk, only down by seven. Um, That's kind of gross. I don't know what that was, but it's all right. We live with it. And immediately you'll see every just like every possession, he goes into his freelance and he spaces the floor. He calls his passing screen away or his ISO five out, whatever play he's calling, and spaces the floor every play. That's a free foul for me because I have free fouls, and he winds up turning the ball over here. And this is kind of one of those things that I will say you don't want to do is what he's going to do right here. A pause the play right here. This is just a bad pass because I click on to because let me go back a little bit. Uh, 
Can I go back? Yes. Watch how I bring a player up from here. I forget exactly who it is, but I bring, I think it's AK, but I'm not 100% sure. Yes. I bring, a, no, not AK. It was uh, Dikembe, but I brought Dikembe up top, baited that pass perfectly, did a really nice job, and I get a wide open three out of it. Well, 20%, it's not actually wide open, but that's a great shot. It's a really nice possession by me there because it winds up swinging. Um, they, I wind up getting a turnover and a three off of it, which is huge, cuts it to a four point leak. And then I go into here to set up my matchups because obviously I want my best defender in AK to be guarding ball. I'd much prefer that than um, having been on ball. That's another decent defensive possession. Probably not not of reach for that, to be completely honest, because it wouldn't have been a steal uh, anyway, I don't think. I don't think there's really an animation that I was going to get that was going to make that a steal. So I basically wound up giving up a dunk there where I had a chance to potentially stay in the play, which is kind of my fault. Sending a double there, getting a trapper animation because he tries to dribble through it, which again, so 2k will suck you into dribble through animation sometimes but do your best to not dribble through the dunk or to dribble through the double if you can try to get the ball out of your hands quickly or make the right play against a double um nice behind the back there prevents a bump steal get to the rim and it's a showtime dunk and i'm only down by two points which honestly just a second ago i was down by 9 20, 21 to 12 and i was really really flustered and now i'm right back in this game so that's the key to staying flustered in this game continue to make this good decisions and hoping that things will eventually switch and go your way in terms of algo um Nice play there. I played too high with my wing. Uh, gave him a wide open back door. It's just a mistake by me. Pretty simple. Uh, and as you see, same thing. I have my spacing. And then I'm trying to create an open shot. I get a wide open shot with from AK in the corner. And I knock down a huge white, which is massive. I'm still not greening consistently. But we're only down by one point going with, a, with about two minutes left in the second quarter. So uh, not bad at all. This possession, I wind up fouling, which is fine. He gets the ball back in, throws a back cut, gets a dunk. That's not crucial. Oh, this possession pissed me off too. I'm shooting eight of 14 from the field, which isn't completely great, but it's not completely terrible. I just got it green, but I make a beautiful move here. He jumps and I get him crapped and then I get that animation. And I'm just right back to being annoyed because I just got hoed and then he goes up and draws a foul off of that. I'm just, oh, this whole series just mental. This game was it was wearing me out right there because I got hoed on a crab, which is a great move and he blocks from behind and then he gets a foul off of a bad animation it's just it's just unfortunate but you have to continue to fight through those things not allow them to break your composure because if they break your composure you're going to play worse and you just can't afford to do that really so um great move by me there that's a disgusting move i'm just going to go back and show you all this move um I might actually make a, drib a tutorial on this dribble cancel. I do it twice there and then use the screen perfectly. Get a wide open look with Luca from deep and green. That's a beautiful move. Uh, I might make a dribble tutorial on that dribble cancel, by the way. If you all want to see that, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, but again, patient defense trying to break down his spacing. He's not in his spacing properly. Um, so pretty nice defensive start to this possession. And I get a huge block with Bobo from behind, which is just, just a big play. Could have gotten a steal there on Larry Johnson as well. Bobo was definitely long enough to get that, but I didn't wind up getting it. Send a double here. Could have been a steal with Ferry as well. I predicted where he was passing the ball properly. I just didn't get the animation, which is tough. And he gets a blow by dunk with win, which frustrating again, but decent offensive possession by him. I just could have had a steal and it just didn't give it to me, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And immediately, as you can see, patience again, spacing, setting up my spacing, being patient, getting a showtime dunk, take what the defense gives you. That's huge. And now that showtime dunk has given me three players with showtime, which makes me much more of an offensive threat. Sorry, I had to take a drink. I don't know if I could hear that. Not the best shot, honestly, there with Worthy. Worthy's release is not super consistent to green, but he ends up knocking a white, down a white, which is annoying, but okay, because I've knocked down a few whites as well. Um, I could have been bumped there with AK. Definitely should not have dribbled through his body like that, but it wound up being okay. I wound up taking another showtime as well with AK. It's just patience. Take what the defense gives you. That's one of those keys that I have told you all in the past and that I'm going to continue to harp on. Is in a competitive game, you have to take what the defense is going to give you. You just have to be patient. Great blitz there by Luca. I wind up getting a steal. He's forcing at this point, not playing playing his best basketball and I get a nice dunk animation with Luca and we're going to go into the half it looks like down by only one point with team takeover so honestly I've recovered very very well in this game from being down nine early in the second quarter um, to only be down one with team takeover at the half um, and just because I was able to stay composed be patient all that which is super super huge in a competitive setting especially really really decent pretty good defense honestly there he could he, he was really close to a five second and then i get a uh, luca there to potentially get a contest i'm not mad about that defense he got a contact dunk but you have to live with things like that uh dikembe to the ram on the other hand i got a blow by animation on kp which we will take get a nice dunk there again taking what the defense gives me i get a blow by animation so i'm just going to go up and take my two i'm not going to try to force a three just because i have a lot of sharp takeovers on the court right now and there we go i'm going to go back and replay this play um is can i show this in slow motion if I can, I'm actually going to play this one in slow motion. 
this is something that I think is huge that players don't do. Watch what happens here. He, I tried to go for a bump with AK. Didn't get it. He speed boosts past me. Look at the court. He, I have two dudes in the back court. It's five on three right now. If he gets his spacing right, he's going to, in all likelihood, almost definitely have a bucket here. So I just decided to foul. Early in the quarter, go ahead and foul. Use your fouls. Use your fouls, especially before the last two minutes of a quarter. Use your fouls to prevent easy buckets. This is going to wind up easy being an easy bucket. Either here to Larry Johnson or even to the wing. Somebody goes corner. There's a very He could rim run probably with Simmons. There's a very good chance he's going to get an easy bucket. So I'm just going to wind up fouling. And that's a smart thing to do in this situation, just to foul to wind up, to make him work harder for buckets. And that's a key in this game is to make your opponent work hard to score. Um, shout out to Solo for the sub. He gets another wide open shot with Worthy. Not even a good shot again. Worthy's release is hard to green. He doesn't green it. It is contested to a little bit and he gets down and knocked down another way, which is annoying, but acceptable. I've hit a couple whites as well and I get a pack cord. <sighs> Should have called a time out there. It's my fault frustrates me but should have called a timeout there because if i called a timeout it could have prevented the back door which is just my fault it happens um but anyways we're down by four again he has the ball just can't seem to break through so far in this game um to potentially get a lead and good defense again uh he's getting the ball to worthy again i don't remember what happened this possession honestly we'll see he's spacing is kind of questionable but he does get decent spacing towards the end of the towards the end of this and he gets a contact with larry after i foul so that's what happened we're down by back down by six kind of a risky pass there to dikembe but i wind up drawing a foul which is big to get those points at the free throw line without wasting much time it's only a four point game with three and a half minutes left in the third what i don't even know what happened i missed that um so ak it looks like i got a pluck on ben yeah, AK just CPU just got himself a pluck and I go up and I get a showtime dunk. That's huge. Getting a pluck like that, that's a heart crusher and then a showtime, that's massive. My CPU just made a massive play there. Really can't give myself any credit there. I just got I got blessed, which we will take. Could if I clicked on properly with the Kimbe, I could have gotten a steal there, but I fat fingered it and didn't click on. I wound up giving up another open showtime dunk. But that CPU play was huge because now it's only a four-point game instead of the possibility of being a six, and I have the ball still. So Again, patient offense, trying to make sure my pace spacing is maintained. He winds up fouling because he's trying to go for a steal, uh, which honestly I'm okay with. Same thing here. Patient offense. Get myself an ankle breaker animation um, to create some space with Dikembe. Go by him and go up for the dunk. Uh, pretty easy possession there. Pretty clear possession, I think, as well. Wide open, James Worthy again. And he finally misses away with Worthy. He's knocked down two of them, so I'm glad he missed that one. So it's a two-point game now, and I have the ball. Again, you'll see spacing trying to protect the ball go away from the bump steal um that's a beautiful pass as well i hit the corner beautifully get another nice dunk animation though aks takeover and it's finally a tie game really nice last last couple minutes of the game have gotten some nice blessed dunk animations though which we will never complain about obviously um again close to us six to eight seconds doesn't wind up getting the eight second it's all right he winds up getting a nice little layup off of that which is all right I almost got bumped there. Risky, risky. Just can't be walking into a, your opponent's body like that. Don't make that mistake. That easily could have been a bump steal, which would have been a costly steal that I do not want to give up in this game. You'll see again, I get the ball in, spacing immediately. Every single possession, I'm getting my spacing. And even if I'm going to call a pick and roll, I'm starting my possession with spacing. Decent look with uh, Luca. I just wind up not greening it, which is my fault, to be honest. Uh, but I get a wide open look with AK, and I missed it with wide open with takeover. Huge white for AK. Thankfully, with takeover, he knocked it down. He's five of six from the field, playing really well on both ends of the court right now. Sending bodies with Luca, trying to potentially get a bump steal. Do a good job of recovering as well, forcing him to not have an open lane to the basket there with uh, Jimmy. Sending a body with Ferry in case he decides to carry it through, and he gets he makes the right pass. Hits Worthy, goes for the rim run, makes a smart read, and winds up getting another dunk out of it. And it's a one point game. Um, patience again, trying to avoid the bump steal. Be smart up the court. Should have taken my dunk there. I would have had a guaranteed dunk pretty much. But I wound up getting a wide open three because he overhelps up top with Larry Johnson. And I green it with Bulbul, which is a huge shot. Puts me up two points. Puts me up almost a full possession. Um, really, really big play there. Trying to get back in the play with AK there. I probably played the best defense I could have based off of that animation that he got. Um, so I'm not mad about the way that possession went, even though I didn't wind up getting a stop. And I get a nice crab with Luca and just miss it. I just didn't green consistently for most of this game, which is frustrating um, because that's another opportunity for a huge three-pointer that would have put me up a whole three points. And 2K doesn't let him go up there, which is, again, we'll take the blessings on our end as well. Um, 
Nice pass to Worthy. Doesn't really have much on the offensive end of the court. I've played a really nice possession of defense so far. He really is completely boxed. Has nothing there. Get a nice hand up with uh, AK to get a stop. Get the rebound. And we're going out in transition with 40 seconds left in the third quarter tie game. It's a massive possession. Wor Bull Bull splits downhill and gets a contact. That's a huge play. I could have gotten bumped on that possession. I barely avoided the bump steals there. And it just winds up being a massive play there. Because that really easily could have been a turnover. Um... But thankfully, it wasn't. Good defense again with AK recovering to the ankle breaker and not letting myself get blown by. I could have had a steal there with Ferry if I played slightly better, but he winds up missing again open with fit with Worthy. And Worthy just is not chicken. He's not easy to green with, which is something that's a huge mistake or a huge problem for his team right now. Good pass there, just taking the right, right read and going up four. It's a big play. He gets the nice throw-ahead pass. I feel like I've told you all in the past, make sure you all take advantage of those passes if they're there. And for him, it was there right there. Uh, really nice move by me. If I had green, that that would have been a de demonic move. Super good move. I wound up missing it. It's pretty deep as well with takeover. It is what it is. Um, and he winds up getting a showtime just running past my Luke at the end of the half. Or at the end of the quarter to make it a tie game with just one and a half seconds left in the third. So I basically go ahead. I call a timeout to potentially try to get myself a shot in the half court. But as y'all can see, I don't wind up getting off a good look in the half court. And we'll go into the fourth quarter up by or tied. I'm sorry. Get the ball to my guy with takeover to start the fourth quarter. Trying to take advantage of the takeover. Using the pro three behind the back to avoid the bump. Drawing a foul. Um, what was this possession? I just What did I just shoot? If y'all can hear me drinking water, it's because I have to stay hydrated. I apologize. What? What is this shot? Why am I shooting that? Please don't do that, y'all. It doesn't even have takeover. Don't force bad shots, especially how much time did I have left in the clock? I had like 15 seconds left in the clock and I'm shooting this. What am I doing? Be patient. Reset your offense. Recall your screen. Space the floor. Something like that. Don't do what I did there. That's terrible offense. Completely messed up. And I wind up giving a foul there in the half court to prevent him from getting an easy bucket because there's a good chance he's just going to blow by my Luka and get a bucket with his Simmons or slashing take. So I give the foul there. And he gets the ball right back to his slashing takeover. Simmons is smart. I send a double and he turns the ball over, which is massive. Great defensive double by me. He throws a flustered pass. Not a good decision by him. Get a wide open look with Ferry and I don't shoot it. Hit Luca wide open in the corner and I don't green again, but hit another white. These whites kind of bailing me out. I'm not going to lie, which is huge because a lot of things didn't bail. A lot of other things didn't fail me in this game or didn't favor me in this game. But I've hit four or five whites, which was absolutely massive in keeping me um, in a better position to potentially win. He tries to get a blow by with Ben, gets a wide open look with Fair Worthy, but he's shot four whites with Worthy in the second half. So he doesn't want to shoot with the ball with Worthy, which is something that I know at this point. So I'm kind of helping off of Worthy um, and he gets a Wait, what happened this position? You got an open mid-range, knocked it down. Bailout pass late in the shot clock. It happens. You kind of have to live with certain animations like that. Like, I had so many bodies all over the court, and then I helped down with Matumbo, which is my fault. I thought he was going to go up with it. I basically left KP with Matumbo. I had a chance to get back, and I didn't. So it's only a one-point game. We do still have the lead, though. Um, again, as you can see, call my spacing. You get the pick and roll go to the ram taking my dunk take what the defense gives you make sure your floor is spaced every possession he tries to go for an easy throw ahead to worthy it's just not there um so he gets into his offense but his spacing is not pretty as y'all can see right now even if he winds up getting a bucket out of this possession which he does nice play by him calling for using b to call the player to him and then going around his own body to bump my defensive player and get a nice dunk animation but his spacing was very poor on that possession so you kind of live with a possession like that even though he wind up getting a bucket and again avoiding the bump steal by keeping my angle narrow at that point just you have to use proper angles to keep your uh to prevent bump steals in situations like that. And I do a good job of that. And then I just go to the room and take my dunk. Fouled there because it's outside of two minutes. So I have fouls to give. And I wanted to get my starters back in the game. So uh, obviously he subbed in his starters as well. So now we're down to the home stretch of the game. Up by three. Trying to make the right play. Um, nice pass by him. Caught me mid-rotation. It's my fault. I've helped way too far with Kawhi. And he hits, throws the right pass. And it's a tie game. Great job by T-Mac. Knocks down the shot as well. It's just my fault for making that mistake and i get bumped and i'm just ah, it's such a mistake two mistakes in a row leaving him wide open and then running into a bump great rotation by t-mac really good job by him of playing clutch down the stretch in this fourth quarter so far and then i get the ball to kp trying to show a little bit different look on offense get a wide open look in the corner with anton and he greens it. that's a massive shot that x and base coming in clutch anton jameson is currently my favorite small forward in the game and right there he is showing y'all why i love him um 
Also, really solid defensive possession so far. He's doing a great job of being patient, though. I sent bodies. He was being patient. We're just basically playing mind games at this point. I'm trying to pinch with Russell a little bit to potentially get a bump steal. I don't wind up getting the bump. Then I'm rotating off of uh, the corner. Playing really nice defense. A phenomenal defensive possession by me out there. I was really all over the place covering up everything. That's kind of what you want for a model defensive possession right there. I go wide because I know he's going to try to pinch from the wing with AD. And I actually want to go back and review that play as well that I just made right here with KP. I want to review this play because I don't see enough people do this in a competitive setting. I'm going to go slow it down to 0.5. Watch right here. You see, you see here, I, I do my dribble cancel, right? Which I might do a video on. He knows as soon as I stop my momentum right there and I go to burst, he knows I'm bursting this way. His KP is out of position to my right side, so I'm going to have a lane. It's just the way it's going to be. So he comes to pinch with his AD. Watch him click onto AD. He's bringing him here to pinch. And I just like, okay, you're going to pinch this way. I'm just going to run around you. So I just run around him. Pretty simple and go up for my dunk. And I don't see enough people do that in the competitive settings. I knew that he was going to pinch from the wing and I beat him to the outside. Basically, it's all about taking those proper angles. That was huge there. You see me go back with Kawhi as well to potentially prevent him. And this is a massive play, so I'm actually gonna go back. But I just wanna show y'all right here. Real quickly, note, look at his AD and how he's wide open. I'm running, I'm sprinting my Kawhi back. He clicked onto AD. You saw the AD's name flash because he clicked onto him, but my Kawhi was back. If I don't run back with Kawhi here, look where KP is. He's going to have a wide open dunk, but I make the right play here, run back with Kawhi to prevent this dunk. If he throws it into AK, we'll live with it. That's the idea, but I want to recover with Kawhi so that KP has time to get back here and I don't give up a wide open too. And that winds up being a massive play because watch what happens right here. And this is one of the biggest plays of the game. He throws it ahead to AK and I'm chasing down with Kawhi. Look at the angle that I take. This actually wasn't the perfect angle, but I'm trying to beat him to the inside in the event that he attempts to attack the rim, which he does. And I see I'm, I haven't exactly beat him to the spot. If I pet, take a slightly better angle to here, I might actually beat him to the spot, which is something I probably could have done better. But I've given myself a chance by instead of trying to beat him to this where he might shoot a three, I want him to take the harder shot. If he shoots the three, that's a tough shot. I have a chance to get up a hand right here. Whereas if he drives through him, that's a wide open dunk. So I want to prevent that dunk. So it winds up being, it winds up being a huge play there. I wind up getting an angle. He goes for a bad dunk animation AK with the cockback, and I get a block. And that's a massive swing, and he knows it. That's why he paused, because it's a three-point game, and I just got a huge block, um, which obviously blocks her to a certain extent luck in this game, but I put myself in the best position to try to get a stop there. And it winds up being huge, and then AK wide open for three. I take the right shot, and I hit a white. That was massive there, that I got that block in that way. That winds up being a huge swing, and immediately t max flustered because he's down by six now, and it's the, being down six makes it much, much harder to come back with this much time left in the game, and I do a beautiful job. He is flushed, as you can see, flustered. I send a body right here. I send a body with eight, with Leonard to cover up Russell. I have Kawhi right here to guard AK, and he's he just doesn't have enough time, and then I'm clicking on Anton to guard Kawhi, and I just have do a great job of making him think, and it winds up costing him time. He turns the ball over, and it's eight second violation. Now I'm up six with the ball, and we're sitting really, really pretty all of a sudden. Immediately go into my spacing, beating him around the outside with Ben. He's forced to foul, and that's his foul to give as well. So I wind up getting the ball in, the, in giving it to Anton. Just nice, patient offense. Go deep hash, basically, like it's 2K20, speed glitch into the hash, and taking the dunk that I get. Just nice, patient offense. It's really key. Get your spacing right. Be patient on offense, especially with a lead late in the game. And here it is. A great defense again. This possession is beautiful because if he throws this bailout pass from AK to Russell, he'll probably have a wide open three, but I rotated late with Russell, so he thought he was going to have a dunk here, and he winds up just going up with it because he thought he was going to have a dunk there or get a dunk, and he winds up not. But since I rotated late with Russell, I wind up getting a contest there, putting myself in position to get a stop and now we're up eight with a minute left so this game is basically over and this is the dagger right here great move by Kawhi. get him on my hip use the one side step to get at him behind me wide open look Kawhi for three game's over basically i can skip ahead at this point the games but he winds up quitting just a second later because he can't um really can't come back at that point from down 11 but this was a phenomenal game um really really good game credit to my opponent t mac for sure he's a very very tough player made a lot of smart decisions but down the stretch y'all see me right make the right decisions and honestly get blessed a little bit that block animation while 
blocks are kind of luck. I did a good job putting myself in that position, but obviously blocks are kind of luck. And then I smack a wide on the other end of the court. And that was massive for giving me separation down the stretch. But y'all see again, kind of inside my mind of what I was thinking throughout this game and the decisions that I made that produced either mistakes by me or success by me. And down the stretch, I made a lot of good decisions that led to me winning this game. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment as well. Let me know what you think of these comp diaries videos. And also if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, help us push towards the 2000 subscriber mark on the channel and i really appreciate all the recent support on the videos i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon appreciate y'all peace